Hello, hello. Good night, guys. How are you? How's everything today? Hey, hey, hey. All right, guys. Uh, thank you. Thank you, guys, for being here today. I really appreciate your being here once again in the class. So um, we're going to start just right now. Uh, but I want to ask you to do me a favor. Please, guys, uh, turn your cameras on. I will really appreciate if you guys can turn your cameras on, okay? That would be really cool. So, so I can see you and so I can see who is here and who is not, you know? So, all right, guys, before we start, uh, do you have any question, guys, or anything you want to say? Any question? Anything you want to say, guys? No? No questions? Yes? Could it be? Uh -huh. Alguna pregunta, algún comentario, chicos, antes de comenzar? And anything before we start? No? <clears throat> Teacher, buenas, buenas noches. Good night. Mm -hmm. Tell me. Hola, me escucha. Yes. Sí. Eh, en la pregunta de los objetivos, la última pregunta como que yo no oigo que dice que la respuesta es serio, algo así. Mm -hmm. Serious. Entonces no, no escucho que diga esa palabra. Okay. Okay, we will check that right now. Mm -hmm. No problem. No problem. Okay, let me just share my screen right here. Okay. Okay, we're getting there. Okay, so, all right, besides that, guys, any other question, anything you wanna say, anything else? No, we're good? Okay, well, um, so this is what's going on right here. All right, so, uh, what is it? Who was asking me, I think that was Consuelo. Um, you said this one or this one? Uh, what? Uh, this one? What was it? What number is it? The 3.9, 3.8? The uh, yes. This one. This one. Oh, the video? 3. Esta es el 3.10. Es que en las, en las preguntas. Ajá. Ajá. En la última pregunta. Ok, ok. So, we are going to check that today. That's no, no what we're going to work with. Ajá. Ajá. No problem. So, that is what we are going to work with today. Ok. So, that's basically what it is. And, you know, guys, what, um, what we are going to be working with is uh, that about the WH questions. Yesterday, we were talking about the just no questions, you know, the statements, you know, and all that, the numbers and the ages, you know, and that's basically what we were doing. We were talking about with the, uh, we were talking about the syllable stress as well. So that's pretty much what we were doing, right? Um. Okay, so something else. Sorry. Okay. So something else that um. Sorry, I don't know if somebody's talking like has a question or anything. Okay. Okay. Bueno, eh, esa parte que que me preguntó con solo chicos lo que vamos a trabajar ahora, okay? That's what we're going to be working with today, okay? Just so you guys know it, okay? Um, so, si se recuerdan, if you remember, hemos estado hablando, we have been talking about the um, statements would be, negative statements, just no questions, 
Uh, we have been talking about the word stress, you know, the numbers and the ages, you know, as I said, the syllable stress and all that, you know. So that's pretty much what we have been working with. But today we are going to start with the WH questions, which are also called the information questions, okay? Ahora vamos a comenzar entonces, o vamos a ver las WH questions with be, con el verbo to be, ¿ok? Eso, el objective de ahora, el objetivo, el objetivo es, in this class, you will learn how to perform WH questions with be, ¿ok? That's what we're going to do, ¿ok? So, what is it? Well, let me just play the audio, of, uh, the video right here for you, and so you guys can listen. But you know what? Let me see. Hi, everyone. Okay. You know, before I play the video, guys, I'm going to uh, take the attendance right now to see who is here and who is not and all that. Okay. So, all right. So here we go. Okay. I'm going to call the attendance. If you're here, guys, and you say I'm here or present, and then we continue. So, um, Aaron, Omar. Hi, here. Okay, thank you so much. Then we got Ada Lisette. Ana Beatriz. Ana Esmeralda. Present. Ana Noemi. Carlos Vladimir. Ok. Eh, Consuelo del Rosario. Presente. Ok. Eh, Elida Maritza. Flor de María. Present. Thank you. Jasmine Magdalena. Joan... Joana Guadalupe. I'm here. Jonathan Alexander. I'm here. Jose Ismael. Jose Salvador. I'm here. Eh, Catherine Tatiana. Here. Kenny Guadalupe. Present. Marilyn Yvonne. Presente. Marlene Concepción. Present. Marvin Omar. Present. Nidia. I'm here. Nixia. Present. Omar. I'm here. Sardo. Ok. Rebeca Beatriz. I'm here. Thank you so much. And then we go with uh, Reina Lisette. Present. Thank you. Ricardo Alfonso. Uh, Rosario Cristabel. Wilber Enrique. I'm here. Uh, Yesenia Abigail. Selena Elizabeth. I'm here. Thank you so much. Okay, guys, thank you for helping me with the attendance. I really appreciate that a lot, okay? So thank you so much, guys. All right, so, um, all right, now, yes, let me just play the video and let's try to pay attention to that video right now, okay? In this class, you'll learn how to form WH questions would be. Can you hear that? Yes. yes. Yeah. Let's go. The first thing that I would like to explain is the WH words. Whenever we say WH words, we refer to the following. Who, what, when, where, how, why. On your screen, you can see these words display. Let me write the rule to follow in order to form WH questions would be you're going to have a WH word plus the verb to be 
plus some kind of pronoun or compliment. Let's take a look at some of the examples on the screen. What's your name? And the answer for that type of question is, my name is Jill. Who's that? And the answer for that type of question is, he's my brother. Who are they? And the answer for that type of question is, they're my classmates. Where are you from? And the answer for that type of question is, I'm from Canada. How old is he? He's 21. Where are they from? They're from Rio. How are you today? I'm just fine. What's he like? He's very nice. What's Rio like? It's very beautiful. Now, it's your time to practice making some examples of your own. First, I would suggest for you to ask and answer those questions for yourself. And then, for your friends and relatives, remember, the more you practice, the easier this concept will become for you. Okay, guys. And those are actually the... And the answer for that... Um, J, I'm sorry, the WH questions. They are called WH questions because they start with a WH word. Se llaman WH questions porque comienzan con una palabra de WH, que son como eh, palabras de preguntas, que también, eh, también a estas preguntas les llaman information question. Why? Porque aquí usted tiene que dar una respuesta más larga. So here you have to give more information. Ok, no es como las yes, no questions, que solo decimos yes or no. Por ejemplo, si yo le pregunto a, ahorita a, a alguien, le digo, o si ustedes me preguntan a mí, ¿cómo se llama, teacher? ¿Cómo se llama usted? Y yo le digo, yes. O le digo, no. <ríe> Entonces, no se puede, ok. Aquí no vamos a decir yes y no, sino que vamos a dar information. We're going to give information. Si le preguntan, ¿Cómo se llama? Usted no dice sí, a menos que se llame sí, pero o no dice no, usted dice su nombre, dice yo me llamo fulanito, yo me llamo Pedro, ¿ok? Right? Por eso, that's why it's called WH questions. So, esa va a ser la diferencia, esa es la diferencia entre las yes no questions y las WH questions. Yes no questions, they have two answers, just yes or no. Pero las WH questions, you give more information. Usted da más información. Right? So that's what it is. Vale, tenemos que tener eso claro. Is that clear? Yes? Okay, cool. Yes. All right, we have to have that clear. Then, entonces, las WH questions, they start with WH words. For example, who, y tenemos estas WH words, algunas. Who what, when, where, how, why. Okay. That's what we have. Okay. And then it says, um, the structure that we need to follow, la estructura que necesitamos seguir es, primero, the first thing is the WH word, then the verb to be, porque en este caso estamos haciendo WH questions, with the verb to be, con el verbo to be. All right, so then WH word, verb to be, the pronoun, the subject pronoun, right? And the complement or the complement. For example, what is your name? What's your name, right? Where are you from? Meaning where is la WH word, si la tenemos. Veamos si lo que sigue es el verbo to be. Are, yes, it's the verb to be. Then the pronoun. You, yes, that is a pronoun and a complement. From, where are you from? Mm -hmm. That is actually what it is. Now, that's the structure that you guys need to follow. Y esta es la estructura que ustedes necesitan seguir, right? Sometimes, um, you know, for example, how old is he? This is a little different 
but we already know that question. We were talking about that yesterday. And uh, what it is is that you are following the same structure, but the pronoun in this case it's also the complement. In este caso, el pronombre también está actuando como complemento. It's okay. He, miren, he está haciendo el pronoun y el complemento. It's both. It can be like that. Yes, yes, it can be like that. Okay, so that's what it is. So, uh, questions about this right now? I mean, I'm going to give you some examples right now, but I don't know if as of right now you have a question about it. Mm -hmm. Okay, I got Carlos with the hand up. Tell me, Carlos, what's your question? Yes, yeah, sorry. It's not for this. So, I enter late for the ring. So oh, okay. I don't know if you can check my name, please. I was yeah. pressing when you play the video, but fue el último que ya no alcancé a escuchar a contestar mi nombre. Oh, the tendons. Uh huh. Sí. Okay, cool. Oh yeah. All right. Let me let me Thank check you. it right here. Let's see. Okay, Carlos. Yeah. Yeah. It says. Okay. Cool. All right. Yeah. I got it. I got it. I just checked it for you. All right, cool. All right, any question about the topic, guys? Sí, yo tengo la pregunta, ¿por qué se incluye entre, estamos hablando de las WH word, y por qué incluyen el how acá entre el, el, todas ellas, si no, si no empieza con W, eh, con WH. WH, ajá. Eh, eh, si no. Fíjese que sí las incluyen. Por el hecho de que sí, de hecho, si vemos, sí lleva la W y la H, solo que no la lleva en el mismo orden, pero sí la lleva. Así que también se considera como parte de las WH word, porque es like an information word, like, like a question word. That's what they call it. That's okay. why. Mm -hmm. okay. mm -hmm. uh -huh. Any other question, guys, about that right now? No? Yes? Okay, all right, so let's do something else right here. Now, let me just go with the student's manual, all right. Okay, let me just explain something else to you. Now, just as I said, guys, we actually have to know that when somebody asks, a yes, no question, we say yes or no. But when they ask a WH question, we have to give more information, okay? So we have to give more information. So, and we're going to practice these questions right now. So let's see, where is it? Uh, da -da -da -da, right here. No, that's the next one, actually. This one, okay. So if I ask you, let's see, Marilyn, Yvonne, what's your name? Answer the question, please. Respondame la pregunta. What's your name? My name is Marilyn, Yvonne. Thank you so much. Okay, Marilyn, now ask one of these questions to one of your classmates. Mm, ¿Qué quiere decir, profe? <laughs> ask, ask one of these questions to one of your classmates. Ask exactly, yes. Good job. Veamos alguno de los compañeros, pa. Ajá. Puede ser cualquiera de estas preguntas. Any of these questions. Mar de Paz, how old is he? How old is he? Okay. Solo que hay que ver ahí. Le estamos preguntando ¿Qué le estamos preguntando, Marilyn? Eh, ¿Cuántos años tiene él? Ah, ok. Entonces dígale ah, por quién le está preguntando. Cambiamos oh, yeah. el he por el nombre Ajá. de la persona. Ajá. Uh, bueno, por usted no, ¿verdad, profesor? Porque no está. <risa> ok, entonces le voy a preguntar 
Where are you from? Esa está buena, esa está buena. Solo cambiamos en lugar de he, pongámosle un nombre de una persona. That's good. Esa es una buena pregunta. That's a good question. Ah, tengo que preguntar siempre por una persona. Ajá. Solo cambiamos okay. este he. Cambiémoslo y pongamos en lugar de he, en lugar de decir how old is he, digamos, ah, how old is Pedrito, por ejemplo. Uh -huh. um, ah, ya. Yeah. Um, Mar de Paz, where are you from? He, teacher. Ah. <ríe> ah, estamos haciendo una combinación de las dos preguntas, hay que elegir solo una. <ríe> vaya, la dejo, usted elija la que quiera, pues vaya. <ríe> So, okay. Una was one more time, por favor, one more time, Marilyn, one more time, please. Repeat. Otra pregunta. La que usted quiera. Lo que lo que pasa es que yo le estaba diciendo que usted hiciera la misma pregunta que usted eligió un momento, porque era una buena pregunta. Lo único que ah. tenía que hacer era cambiar he por el nombre de pues la sí. persona. Porque si usted le pregunta, how old is he? Le está preguntando cuántos años tiene él. Pero él le va a decir, ¿él quién? Entonces ella no le iba a entender por quién usted le estaba preguntando. Ya, yeah, ya, yeah, Por yeah. eso usted tenía que cambiar. Pero si usted quiere hacer la otra, de where are you from? It's okay. Uh -huh. so. Where are you from? Ah, ya, yeah, entonces le puedo preguntar a ella misma. Mm -hmm. Ajá. Yes, okay. Yes. Okay. Um, Mar de Paz, where are you from? Mm -hmm. I am from Hikilisco, Usulután. Wow, Hikilisco, Usulután. That's nice. very far. Eso <laughs> me queda re lejos a mí. <laughs> All right. <laughs> okay. Thank you, Marilyn. Okay. Thank you. Um, Mar de Paz con, let's see, déjeme un momento, Ay, con, 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 con temor a ser imprudente, eh, ¿cuál es su nombre? Mar de Paz. <ríe> Marlene de Paz. Marlene de Paz, ok, vaya, vaya, está bien. Uh, si puede, si en algún momento puede, es porque tal vez puede ponerle Marlene, porfa. Eh, porque es lo, lo que piden, <ríe> que sea okay. completo, ¿ok? Ajá. Ok, yo lo arreglo entonces. Ok, vaya. Okay. Eh, ok, ahora, Marlene, hágame un favor. Ask a question to one of your classmates. Ajá. Ok. Um, Marvin o Mar Mejía Renderos. What, what he like? Who? What? Who? Quien? Who? Mm -hmm. uh, Marvin? Le estamos preguntando a Marvin. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Y usted le está preguntando, ¿qué le está preguntando? What's his, what's his life? Uh -huh. ¿En español qué sería? Sería... Uh, ¿qué? ¿Cómo es él? Pero Marvin oh, se va ah, okay. pensando, ¿el quién? Uh -huh. Ok. Uh -huh. so, puede cambiar he y puede, en lugar de he ponga el nombre de la persona que usted quiere preguntarle. Ok. Ah, ¿Ah? Oh, no, 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 no. Entonces lo cambio mejor. ¿Cómo no esa? Esa está bonita. Esa hagamos. That's a good one. What he, what, what he like, what he like, Carlos Black. Vladimir. <ríe> ok. ¿Le está preguntando a Marvin todavía? Sí. Sí. Ok, entonces pregúntele. What Carlos like? Ah. Ajá. What es que, vale. Carlos like? Ajá. Okay. Ajá. What Carlos like? What's Carlos like? Okay. Porque la pregunta es what what he like? ¿Cómo uh -huh. es él? Uh -huh. Pero si, si le preguntamos así a veces 
a menos que lo tengamos así en la parodia, ya estemos hablando de, de Carlos, Marvin uh -huh. ya va a entender que estamos hablando de Carlos. Pero si no, le ¿Qué? podemos decir, what's Marvin like? Uh -huh. Entonces, uh -huh. lo único que hicimos era lo mismo que le decía Marilyn, cambiamos el he por Marvin, quitamos el he okay. y pusimos Marvin, como para que okay. nos pueda entender un poquito más el compañero, por quién le estamos preguntando. Ajá, so pregúntele okay. una vez más, please, one more time. Es que fue a Marvin que le pregunté por Carlos, bueno. ay no, ya me enchivolé, si fue por Carlos a Marvin. <risa> bueno, como sea. Usted, usted de ley. No, fue a Omar que le pregunté por Carlos, creo. Ok. Yo también me confundí. Pero el punto es ese. Ok. Para que su compañero no se quede en la Sí, le pregunté por Carlos. Mejor digámosle el nombre de la persona por la cual le estamos preguntando. Ajá. Uh -huh. What's Carlos like? Uh -huh. Good job. Ajá. Uh -huh. Ok. Se me fue Marvin Omar. Se desconectó. Ok. Ask somebody else. One more person. Another person. Entonces va a ser. Entonces, a Carlos. What's. What's Flor de María like? She's happy. Okay. She's happy. Okay. Okay. Good. Good, 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 good. All right. Uh huh. Um, that's a good question. Okay. Thank you so much. Now, Carlos, go ahead and ask one more question to another person, please. Okay. Uh, uh, Jonathan Guillén, how old are you? How old are you? Uh, I'm 20 years old. Okay. Uh huh. Okay. Can you repeat the question, uh, Carlos? Can you repeat the question? Yes, I can. Uh huh. Uh, with the name or all the question? Just, Just the question. question. Mm -hmm. Okay. How old are you? Okay. How old are you? Is that what How you're saying? How old Carlos? are you? Uh huh. Okay. Because there is a difference, and, and I know probably he, he will get confused sometimes. How old are you? And how are you? Okay. Acuérdense del jaguar. <laughs> okay. So, how are you? Okay. How are you? And how old are you? Which is the question that you were asking, Carlos? Number one or number two? Uh, number one, how number old one. are you? Good. Okay. That's that's cool, actually. That's that's pretty good. I was just asking for that because it's not right here. So great job, Jonathan. Good job. Now, Jonathan, can you ask a question to one of your classmates, please? One of these questions. Your turn. Su turno. Your turn. Okay, Wilber Enrique, how are you today? Um, just fine. Okay, I'm just fine. Another phrase that you can say cuando les pregunten how are you, pueden decir algo más para no sonar como dicen, pero para no decir lo mismo, de I'm just fine. Podemos, pueden decir así, miren, you can say... I'm doing great. I'm doing great myself. 
I'm doing great myself. Okay. Or you can say, so far, so good. So far, so good. So far, so good. Okay. And you can also say, um, I'm doing fine. <laughs> Just fine. Okay. Ustedes han visto el meme ese del Winnie Pooh con la camisita, después ya bien vestido, con traje, y después con la cosita así. ¿Sí lo han visto? <laughs> okay, vaya. Entonces, cuando usted le pregunte, how are you? Y usted responde, I'm fine, thank you. Es el Winnie Pooh normal. <laughs> okay. Pero si hay que ir subiendo a nivel, you can say something like, I'm doing great myself. Okay. Es como menos común y es como ya un poco más refinado. Decir, wow, qué cool. Más, este más fino, mismo. más fino. Más fino, ajá. Como más así, up in the level, right? Entonces, you can say, I'm doing great myself. O puede decir, so far, so good. Ajá. So that's, that's what it is, right? I mean, it's just like an FYI, just for your information. Uh, solo ahí uh, un, un poquito más para que vean. Hay varias formas, ¿ok? Puede responder alguna de estas y es como que van a decir, wow. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. So, just um, a little parenthesis. Okay. All right, guys. So, that's what it is. Okay. We're going to do something here and we're going to go right now to the next uh, activity. And it's the 3.1. Okay. Uh, Mar, it looks like got excited. He's he's working on that. Okay. Uh, <laughs> okay. So, uh, it's okay. It's okay. Don't worry. Don't worry. Uh, so, um, let's work on this. Okay. Les voy a dar un par de minutos para que revisemos esto ahorita. Y por ahí ya Consuelo me estaba haciendo una pregunta y ahorita la vamos a ir revisando también. So I'm gonna give you just a minute. And it says complete the conversations with WH questions by selecting the correct question, okay? For example, conversation one, it says, look, da -da -da -da. who's that? Where's he from? What's his name? But before we do that, do you have a question about the meaning of each of these words, of these questions? Do you know what they mean? Mm -hmm. No? Sabemos ahí qué significa cada una de esas. No hay ninguna duda, ninguna duda sobre eso. There isn't any doubt about that. This. No? Ok. Entonces, les doy ahí un par de minutos, chicos. Eh, si tienen ahí su eh, platform, pueden comenzar a revisar. I'm going to give you two minutes. Y después vamos a comenzar a, a revisarlo juntos, ¿ok? Un par de minutos. No sé si, si ustedes pueden trabajar en la plataforma ahorita o si ya lo hicieron, si ya lo completaron. I don't know if you finish it or if you can work on that right now. So we can... En mi caso ya las completé, teacher. Ok, good job, good job. All right, thank you. Thank you, teacher. Ok, thank you, John. Uh -huh. Ok. Teacher. En mi caso ya también lo completé, ya completé todo. Yo también ya las completé. You guys are on fire. You're on fire. You know? ¿Saben qué significa you're on fire? Van con todo. You're on fire. You're on fire. <laughs> ok. You are on fire. O sea, literal, si lo traducimos, estás en llama, ¿verdad? Pero, ajá. Uh -huh. You are on fire. Ajá. Uh -huh. Van con todo. <laughs> Okay, let's check it right now then. Okay, uh, let's see. All right, so I'm going to say the name. So let's see. Vamos a, a dividirlo uno por uno. Digamos que este uno, dos, tres. This is one, two, three. Okay, so uh, Jonathan Guillén, you're going to do number one. Carlos Vladimir, number two. Uh, Aaron Montoya, number three. Okay, let's go. So, uh, Jonathan, your turn. Mm -hmm. What do you think? Number one. 
uh, who's that? Okay, who's that? And it says, oh, oh, sorry, pero lea la toda, leamos la toda, okay? Look, who's that? Oh, he is a new student. Good job. Okay, next, Carlos. Yes. Uh, what's his name? Uh, yes, what's his name? I think his name is Tian Kuo. Good. You know Chinese or Japanese, I don't know what that is. Okay, <laughs> what's his name? Okay, pretty good. Uh, then we will go with Aaron, please. Aaron? Where is he from? Mm -hmm. Chien Chu, where he's from? He's from China. China. China, okay. Yeah, China. where is he from? Ching Fu, where is he from? He's from China. Okay, conversation number two. That's going to be for Joanna. You have number one, Joanna Guadalupe. Number two is going to be yes. for uh, Rosario Cristabel, number two. Number three is going to be for Wilber. Okay, let's go. Uh, Joanna. Number two. Number one. Uh, I mean, conversation um, two. Uh, number one. I mean, we said we're going to call it number one. Mm -hmm. Ah, okay. It was Istanbul like. I'm okay. from Turkey, from What's Istanbul. Istanbul like. Ah, Istanbul. Huh? <laughs> it's Istanbul like. Okay. Are you sure? Mm hmm. Veamos la respuesta que nos dan aquí. I'm ah, from where are you from? <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. So that is, where are you from? Okay. Yeah. Good. Okay. Let's go with uh, next. Who's next? Who's got number two? Rosario Cristabel, right? Tell us why. Hello, hello. Are you here? Me too, sir. Okay, so uh, let's see. All right, so yeah, she's gone. So let's go. Ah, oh, there she is. Me? Um, voy yo, teacher. Yes, your turn. Estaba en la plataforma. Okay. Estaba okay. en la plataforma, teacher. Don't worry, it's okay. Um, es la... In English. <laughs> eh, quiero ver. Sí. Select one. What's Istanbul like? Where are you from? What's your last name? Where, where are you from? Okay, let's look at the answer. It says, let's look at the answer. Istanbul is very old and beautiful. Uh -huh. Esta es la respuesta. Para elegir una pregunta hay que ver la respuesta que, que nos están dando. Uh -huh. So probably, probably, it will be better if we say, if we choose another one. What do you think, guys? Any other, any volunteer? Me? Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Uh, like what Istanbul like? Okay, yes, that will be that will be better. What's Istanbul like? 
Istanbul is very old and beautiful. Okay, and the last one, Wilbur, help us, please. Um, what's your last name? My last name is Art Erdogan. No sé cómo pronunciar ese nombre. Erd Erdogan, something like that. Erdogan. Erdogan. Ah, okay. What's your last name? My last name. My last name is Erdogan. All right, let's go with conversation number three. That is going to be for um. Let's see, Flor de Maria, you got number, uh, number one, you got this one, okay. Then we will go with um, Jose Salvador, you got number two. And then we will go with, uh, let's see, Ana Beatriz, you will go with number three, okay. So let's go. Number one. Lord Maria, can you help us? Hi, Jones. How are you? I am your friend, my friend Carolina, is here this week from Argentina. 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 Mm -hmm. Yes, good job. Yes. It says, how are you? It says, I'm just fine. My friend Carolina is here this week from Argentina. Number two. Uh, it's. Give me a second. There you go. Uh, what she like? Let's, I can hear that, I can hear that. Oh, cool. Oh, cool. What's she like? She's really friendly. Mm -hmm. Oh, cool. What's she like? She's really friendly. Okay. And the last one. Uh, how old is she? She's 28 years old. Okay, pretty good. Yes, how old is she? She's 28 years old. And now you will just hit send, and that's pretty much what we have right here, guys. Okay, questions about the WH questions. <laughs> Pregunta sobre the WH questions. No, huh? me sorry. Okay. Uh, okay. Solo una pregunta. Yes, uh, yes. Who is quién? Right. Uh, mm -hmm. Pero si yo quiero decir quién es, uh, ¿cómo sería? Same thing. Same thing. Uh, you can use it for both. Singular or plural. Mm -hmm. Sería lo mismo para los dos. Puede ser plural o singular. Mm -hmm. uh, ok, gracias. Mm -hmm. Yes, you're welcome. You're welcome. Uh -huh. Any other question, guys? No. No, yes, could it be? No. no. Okay. All right. So those are a few of the WH questions that we have to ask, or I'm sorry, now that we have but that we can ask, okay? Mm, and this is what you have right here, okay? You know, who's that and all that, basically. Now, before we go, I like to, uh, before we finish today, actually, I like to uh, go to the next, uh, I would say, like, topic that we have. But the adjective for that one is that in this lesson, you will learn adjectives which describe the personality and appearance of people, right? So then we have the adjectives, right? Now, let me play the video and I want you to listen and watch the video. Hi, everyone. In this class, you'll learn. Can you hear that? 
adjectives which describe the personality yeah. and appearance of people. Let's get started by listening and repeating adjectives. I'll go ahead and play the audio and you should listen and repeat. He's really tall. He's short. She's a little heavy. She's thin. He's handsome. She's very pretty. They're good looking. She's really friendly. He's quiet. She's talkative. She's serious. He's funny. She's shy. Now, what I would like for you to do is to give an example for each adjective that you learn. I would like for you to talk about a friend, a family member, coworker that you know whom you can describe with an adjective or adjectives that we just learned. For example, my friend John is really tall. My cousin Mary is a little short. My co-worker Chris is a little heavy. After you do this, you should share your work in our discussion forums. Okay, so that's what it is. Now, the adjectives, they help us, you know, to describe uh, people, right? My friend, For example, John, what he's doing he's right here. really tall. Okay. So right there. So we can say, he is really tall, you know. Uh, he's short, you know, tall, right? And then we got short, right? We got handsome, right? We got thin, we got heavy, we got friendly, we got good looking, we got serious, we got pretty, you know, we got quiet talkative, funny, and shy. That's what it is, okay? Now, um, I'm gonna show you just a little bit about that, but give me a second, right here. Okay. Profe, so, que significa their good looking. Sorry? Their good looking. Looking? Good looking. Uh -huh. Que significa? Good, yes, that's... Me, me suena como que dicen, ella es media loca. <laughs> no, no, it's not that. <laughs> it sounds like, suena, <laughs> pero no, okay? <laughs> Good looking es como bien parecido, right? O bien parecida. That's what it is. Ah, nada que ver. Gracias. <laughs> okay, don't worry, don't worry. Uh -huh. Okay, now, uh, bien parecido. These are the adjectives. Estos son los adjectives. Repeat after me. I'm going to say them like we got told. I mean, you can repeat them with your micro so microphone off. Pueden tener su micrófono apagado, okay? But this is tall, short, heavy, friendly, good looking, thin, handsome, Pretty, quiet, talkative, serious, funny, shy. Okay, so then I can say, so now I can describe myself. Ahora yo podría describirme a mí y a alguien más también. Por ejemplo, I can say, uh, um, short. Talkative and friendly. Okay. I'm sure talkative and friendly. Okay. That's what I can say. Or I can say, and I can say as well, my friend. Oh, I will say my mother. My mother is. Tall, shy, and funny, okay? 
And this is how we describe people. Y así es como nosotros podemos describir a las personas con los adjectives. Ahora, si usted le hacen la pregunta de, if they ask you something like, what is your mother like? Okay, ¿cómo es tu mamá? Le están pidiendo una description. Ah, entonces, ustedes ya vienen. My mother is tall, shy, and funny. O de repente le pueden preguntar, what are you like? ¿Cómo eres tú? And then you can say, I'm short, talkative, my bad. I'm short, talkative, and friendly. O le pueden preguntar, what is she or he like? And then you describe the person. And then you can say, y después entonces se puede decir, he's really tall, he's short, da 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 Ok. ¿Questions about that? No? I have a question. Tell me, tell me. What is the shy? Shy is like somebody that doesn't like to talk much, doesn't talk, come on. Only mm -hmm. woman. Mm -hmm. No, it's, it can be for both. Puede ser para a man as well. It can be for men and and a woman. Mm -hmm. Ah, okay. Thank you. Yes. Uh -huh. I have a question. Uh -huh. Tell me, tell me, Catherine. Where is talkative? Talkative. Talkative is somebody that talks a lot. That is always talking. Blah, 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 blah. Yes? <laughs> okay. Yes. Okay. okay. En el buen salvadoreño hablador. Mm -hmm. Right. Comunicativo. Comunicativo. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's something else. Okay. Uh -huh. Any other question? No, Mister. No. Okay. 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 Uh, so, so if you don't have a question, let's see, they will have time for that one tomorrow. So if we don't have a question, let's do something. Entonces, si no, no tienen preguntas, yo sí tengo preguntas para ustedes. Ok, les parece, les parece sí. <laughs> no me preguntan, les va a preguntar yo. <laughs> ok, you don't ask me, I'm going to ask you. So, let's see. Uh, this question goes to, okay, Catherine, Catherine, um, what is your, supongamos, no sé si tiene o no, what is your brother like? Mm -hmm. Okay, yes, of course, I have a brother, uh -huh. and my brother is tall, really tall, and Drink and maybe in she he is uh talkative and friendly. Friendly. Okay, good. Now you Catherine, go ahead and ask one of these questions to one of your classmates. Okay, and Jose Salvador, what is your mother like? Uh, my mother is small and short. She, ah, short. Mm -hmm. Short. Uh, she she's friendly. She is talkative. Okay, good job. Thank you, Jose. Oh, one one little thing, guys. Pueden separar los adjetivos por coma. Mm -hmm. Por ejemplo, si tuvieran más adjetivos. Short, talkative, friendly, and, y, y al final pueden decirlo otra vez, ¿ok? Just another way to say it, otra forma de decirlo, ¿ok? So, Jose, ask a question to one of your classmates, please. Um, um, eh, Hernández Godoy. Mm -hmm. uh, what's... 
What is your father? Eh, Esa es mi verdad porque solo mencionó mi last name. Yeah, last name, yeah. Mm -hmm. Can you repeat the question, Jose, please? Uh, what is your father like? Mm -hmm. Yes, Kenny. Uh, my father is short, uh, talkative, and funny. Okay. Okay. It's pretty good. Uh huh. Now, you, Kenny, can you ask a question to somebody else? Uh, Anna, Beatriz. Mm. What is your sister like? Uh, Rebecca Beatriz o Ana Beatriz? Uh, Ana. Uh, my sister is like, uh, she's funny and friendly. Okay, uh, just one little thing. Uh, cuando nos preguntan eso, si no tenemos que decir my sister is like, solo de una vez podemos describirla. She is, and tarara, tarara, tarara. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, so now you, can you keep asking a question to somebody else, please? Uh, Aaron Montoya, what are you like? I'm uh, quiet, friendly, um, funny. Good job. Mm -hmm. Now, can you keep going asking questions? Somebody else? Um, Nidia, um, what are what are you like? Repeat, please. Nidia, what are you like? Okay. Mm -hmm. I am. Um... Talk and play and funny. Talkative. Talkative and funny. And funny. Talk talkative. Uh, one little thing in this word and esta palabra talk. Uh, no, we don't pronounce the L. No pronunciamos la L. Solo talkative, talkative, or talk. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. Just that. Okay. Um, Gracias. You're welcome. Ajá. Vamos, sigamos, sigamos, sigamos. Si es posible preguntarle a alguien que no haya participado. Let's keep going, please. Y así vamos a ir. Hasta. Uh, Nixia. What did your mother like? What is... Ah, oh, my bad, my bad. There is a typos here. I'm missing. What is your mother like? Like that. What is your mother like? Mm -hmm. My mother is funny and friendly. Okay. Mm -hmm. Keep going, please. Jonathan Guillén. Mm. Why are you late? Jonathan Guillén. Uh, I'm, I'm a funny uh, talkative. Cool. Okay. All right, pretty good. Okay, guys. So, uh, all right. Uh, okay, cool. 
not a problem. Uh, let's do something here. Do you guys have a question about this right now or anything? Mm -hmm. Do you have a question for now? No. No. Okay. No. So uh, let's do something, guys. I want you to please try to uh, work actually on the platform, okay? So basically what we are going to do is uh, um, next, well, tomorrow actually we're going to be working on that, okay? We're going to be working on the last practice right here. We're going to do a little review on everything. And if you have questions about uh, the topics on the exam, I will help you as well, okay? So uh, we will stop it here today, guys, and I'll see you tomorrow, okay? You guys okay. take care. See you. Good, good night. Good night. Good night, guys. Take care. Good night. Bye. Bye. Good night. Good night.